Uh, next, we have Governor Chavarria uh, from the Santa Clara Pueblo. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good uh, and out of respect, Chairman. Uh, in my table language, I'm asking permission to speak, sir. You have our permission. We are honored to thank you. grant it. Yes. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Well, thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Member uh, Murkowski and members of the community for inviting me to testify and addressing uh, violence in the Native American community. My name is Michael Chavria. I serve as the governor for Santa Clara Pueblo. I testify today on behalf of the Pomo Santa Clara to share our experience in the hope that it will assist you and your staff in broadening the current protections provided in VAWA Title IX Special Jurisdiction. The current protections go far, however, they do not go far enough. Specifically, law enforcement officers need to be protected when they respond to domestic violence calls. Currently, law enforcement officers are not included in VAWA Title IX Special Jurisdiction. However, law enforcement is caught into extremely dangerous domestic violence situation. The public cannot protect our own officers when that per perpetrator is a non-native. Specifically, children need to be protected as well from domestic violence. Currently, the protections of VAWA Title IX special jurisdiction only apply to past or present intimate partner relationship. However, children are commonly victims of domestic violence. So here's a real world example of the need for protection for law enforcement. On February 11, 2013, a Santa Clara tribal police officer responded to domestic violence disturbance. A tribal member and a non-native were living together in, the, in an intimate partner relationship within the Pueblo. Notified that the tribal member may be in danger, the tribal police went to the residence. While checking on the welfare of that tribal member, a drunken non-native individual assaulted the officer. The non-native perpetrator was not prosecuted by the state or the federal government. The Pueblo did its best to avoid the problem from happening again. The non-native was excluded from entering the Pueblo. However, the Pueblo looked for better solutions. So in March of 2013, VAWA Title IX Special Jurisdiction was signed into law. Santa Clara Pueblo immediately saw VAWA as an opportunity to protect our community, our people. We signed up to exercise special domestic violence criminal jurisdiction over non-native domestic violence uh, perpetrators. With federal funding, we began to meet the federal standards to exercise uh, this jurisdiction. So in the summer of 2020, we were finally approved by both the Department of Interior and the Department of Justice to exercise that jurisdiction. Currently, we are the only tribe in New Mexico exercising the special jurisdiction. So it is critical the definition of domestic violence victims in VAWA Title IX special jurisdiction should be expanded to include law enforcement officers and children. Today in the real world, our police officers are still not sufficiently protected when they respond to these potentially dangerous domestic violence calls. Our children are not protected either. And so special jurisdiction definitions require an intimate relationship. But if that provision of VAWA are brought in to protect law enforcement and their children, we can then provide justice to our entire community. So broadening the definitions will protect real people. So I thank you, Chairman for VAWA, and for continuing the federal funding, which is very critical. I also submit my written testimony for the record. I now stand for questions. Thank you, Chairman, members of the committee. Thank you, Governor.